Greetings from Multisoft and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2010's introductory session. Microsoft Excel, as it is popularly known, is a spreadsheet application and data analysis tool developed by Microsoft. Because of its ease of use and widespread application, it is used by one and all across small size, mid-size and enterprise level organizations to maintain, modify and retrieve data. Let's have a look at what all we are going to cover in today's session. I will first introduce you to Microsoft Excel, tell you what it is and what all functions it can perform. Then I will brief you about the MS Excel official exam and discuss the course related details. Next section will be the sneak preview where I will pick up actual course concepts and explain the same. This is going to be very beneficial as you will gain core subject knowledge as well as get a feel of the actual online training. After this, I will explain the deliverables of online training at Multisoft and summarize the session at the end. Let's begin with an introduction to Microsoft Excel. MS Excel is a spreadsheet application developed by Microsoft for the Microsoft Windows and Mac operating systems. It forms a part of the Microsoft Office suite of desktop applications and is the industry standard for spreadsheets used for data maintenance, retrieval and modification. It features calculation, pivot tables and graphic tool functionalities. MS Excel also includes a macro programming language called the Visual Basic for Applications. This training will equip you with the functionalities of the 2010 version of Microsoft Excel. There are various improvements in this version. Some of these include multi-threading recalculation for commonly used functions, improved pivot tables, more conditional formatting options, additional image editing capabilities, there are in-cell charts called sparklines. The Excel 2010 version also offers the ability to preview the content before pasting it. Then there's the Office 2010 backstage feature for document related tasks. You can also customize the ribbon in the 2010 version and there are several new formulas for improved accuracy also in this version. Now let's take a look at some of the basic functionalities that MS Excel offers. Microsoft Excel spreadsheets feature number drawers and letter named columns in which you can store the data. Data is uniquely identified by the cell in which it is stored. For example, if a name is stored in the fifth row of column C, the cell will be named as C5. Secondly, Excel also offers a variety of inbuilt functions that make calculations much easier for you. The example shared on the screen gives you a clear picture of how this is done. You can not just store plain data in MS Excel, but you can also display it pictorially. Data can be showcased in the form of histograms, pie charts, tables, etc. Excel additionally has features like pivot tables and the scenario manager that allow you to view data on the basis of its relationship with another set of data. One such example is shared on the screen where we can see how many tasks have been completed, how many have been delivered and also there's a count of the pending ones. I told you in the beginning that MS Excel supports a macro programming language that is Visual Basic for applications. Now what does this language do? First of all, this language allows users to apply various numerical methods. For example, you can work out differential equations of mathematical physics and display the results on the spreadsheet. It also lets you customize the user interface so that the spreadsheet can be presented as an application to other users. This means when the other individuals will use it, they would work on it as an application and not as a spreadsheet. MS Excel can also display or embed data from external databases, including text documents, PowerPoint presentations, design files, Adobe documents, etc. Now let's get to know what are the system requirements if you need to work on MS Office 2010 as Microsoft Excel is a part of it. The processor, RAM, hard disk, display, video subsystem and operating system requirements are all mentioned on the screen. Moving on to the exam details, I hope you understand that the exam is important because once you clear it, you will get an official certification in Microsoft Excel. The MOS that is Microsoft Office Specialist Excel 2010 exam code is MOS 77882. 
Students need to attempt the exam in 90 minutes and obtain at least 700 marks on a scale of 1000. The exam is administered by Certiport. Now I will share with you the course details. In terms of learning outcome, after you complete this training, you should be able to use a majority of MS Excel 2010 features. Candidates will learn how to create and edit professional looking spreadsheets. This course is ideal for students and professionals from all walks of life. That's because the need to maintain data arises in every kind of setup. This training is beneficial for individuals who want to learn how to manage spreadsheets in MS Excel, those who want to manage their data in a better and effective manner, people whose job role involves high amount of data management tasks, and those who are working in clerical, admin, team management and various other roles. The course outline for Microsoft Excel 2010 is shared on the screen. These modules will be covered in detail so that you become a master in all the functionalities of MS Excel. Now it is time for the sneak preview section. The topics that we'll cover include ribbon, quick access toolbar, creating and opening workbooks, and converting a workbook. To understand these, you need to open the MS Excel application on your computer. The ribbon is where you will find the commands you need to perform various tasks in MS Excel. The primary difference between Excel 2007 and 2010 ribbon is that the commands such as open and print are now housed in the backstage view. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. You can add your own tabs that contain your favorite commands. Let's learn how to customize the ribbon. You need to right click on the ribbon that is there on the top of the spreadsheet. You can customize the ribbon by creating your own tabs that house your desired commands. Commands are always housed within a group and you can create as many groups as you need to keep your tabs organized. In addition, you can even add commands to any of the default tabs as long as you create a custom group within the tab. So, right click the ribbon, select customize the ribbon after which a dialog box will appear. Now, click new tab. A new tab will be created with a new group inside it. You need to make sure that the new group is selected. Now select a command from the list on the left and then click add. You can also drag the commands directly into a group. When you're done with adding the commands, click OK. If you do not see the command you want, click the choose commands drop down box and select all commands. The ribbon is designed to be easy to use and responsive to your current tasks. But if you find that it's taking too much of your screen space, you can even minimize it. Click the arrow in the upper right corner of the ribbon to minimize it. To maximize the ribbon, click the arrow again. The quick access toolbar is located above the ribbon. This toolbar is helpful for performing common tasks irrespective of the tab you are on. Just click the drop down arrow to the right of the quick access toolbar. Select the command you wish to add from the drop down menu. To choose from more commands, select more commands. The backstage view gives you options for opening, saving, printing and sharing the document. As you explore this option, you will be familiarized with several more features. To get to the backstage view, click the file tab on the ribbon. Now choose your desired option or return to your workbook by clicking on any tab on the ribbon. Now I'll tell you how to create and open workbooks. To create a new blank workbook, click on the File tab. This will take you to the Backstage view. Now select New. After this, select Blank Workbook under the Available Templates. This will be highlighted by default. Now click Create. Once you do this, a new blank workbook will appear in your Excel window. Now moving on to the opening of an existing workbook. For this, you need to click the File tab. This will take you to the Backstage view. Now select Open. The Open dialog box will appear now. And you need to select your desired workbook and click on the Open button. Converting a workbook is another important element of Microsoft Excel. That's because you need to convert the files of the previous versions to the 2010 version so that you can use all the features of Excel 2010. For this, you need to click the File tab to access the Backstage view. 
then you need to locate and select the convert command. Now a save as dialog box will appear. Now you need to select the location where you need to save the workbook. Enter a file name for the presentation and click save. The workbook will be converted to the newest file type now. I hope that was an interesting section for you. With that, I will move on to the training section and give you the details about what all you will get once you register for the training at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 16 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on the Microsoft Excel training page on our website. The training happens over Cisco WebEx. It is a secure web conferencing tool from Cisco that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you wherein you log into a Multisoft WebEx that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us for the MS Excel training, Multisoft will provide you 24 by 7 access to an online learning center. Here you can access all the course related material including presentations and projects. Students can attempt 10 online assessments and 3 mock tests. All this material is provided over and above the actual expert guidance so that the students are able to pass the exam in the first attempt. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge about the various course related concepts. All the questions will have 4 options out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment you will get the information about the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Now to summarize the session, this will be a 16 hours instructor led online training. Multisoft provides an experienced instructor who will offer you complete expertise in the features and functionalities of MS Excel. Participants will get access to a 24 by 7 online resource center wherein apart from attempting 10 assessments and 3 mock tests, they can also access all course related presentations and projects. Students will additionally get a training certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to give you detailed understanding about MS Excel. In order to register with us or to post any query, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.